All right, hey again, Organic Chemistry. So I wanted to help set you up for your drawing chair conformations practice. There's actually a new type of notation that you're gonna have to learn in this worksheet and we're gonna start using more of in the rest of this unit. But there's this thing here that looks kind of like a triangle. This is known as a wedge. And this means that I'm gonna have a group up, um, up, okay? It's very important to know that this wedge means up. Um, and then we have this other one that looks like da like lines or dashes, and it's actually looking like a triangle dashes. This is known as dash, and this means down. That's all you need to know right now. So for example, look here. I have both of these are technically up. This is up axial, this is up equatorial, and we learn these in our notes. They're both up, so both of these are up. This one is down equatorial, and this one is up also equatorial. And the one that's down has a wedge, right? And it's in my video notes here, they're blue. So the blue one is down, it gets a wedge when I draw it, okay? We're gonna be looking more at these dashes and wedges in this worksheet and applying drawing chair conformations and equatorial and axial positions. All right, so let's do the first couple together. So um, on questions five through eight, you're gonna have to draw the chair conformation by yourself. But for the first four questions, I kind of put them there for you. And you should number them like this. If you number them any other way, it doesn't matter. But if you want to keep it consistent and you want to know where you're going to put things, I would just number it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in doing that, it does not matter. I'm going to say this again. It does not matter how you number this structure. How you number here. Does not matter how you number. We're not naming it. This is not, we're not naming it, we're drawing it. When we draw, we get to decide where things go. So as long as you are consistent. So if this is carbon one, doesn't matter where you are. I'm gonna say this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't matter, okay? If you wanna make it that every top right-hand corner carbon right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, then be my guess. It does not matter. It matters how you put things up and down on the ring, okay? What I would suggest you doing is automatically going over to this ring and start putting in your equatorial and axial um, lines that I showed you from our notes. Doesn't matter where you start. Let's say on the first carbon, I'm going to go straight up, then second, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, alternating up and down. Remember, there are six axials and six equatorials that are up and down. And again, now this up business is going to be used with a wedge, and any down business is going to be a dash, okay? Now that I have all of my axials alternating up and down, I'm going to angle and do the opposite now for my equatorials. If I have an up on this carbon and I already use it as axial, the other one is gonna be down equatorial. Then the next one's gonna be up equatorial, then down equatorial, up equatorial, down, up equatorial. Everything is alternating. Does not matter where you start, doesn't matter. As long as you have everything alternating up and down, axial equatorial, um, you're good to go. Now, I've already numbered these as one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now all that's left to do is putting these in the appropriate positions. This CL, I put it on the first carbon, it's carbon one, it's going over here somewhere. This, we this wedge means it's gotta be up. So if I look at carbon one over here, I have to find which of these substituents is up. This equatorial is down. This axial is up. So that means that CL is up in the axial. 
Then I'm going over to carbon three. I numbered it already three. So I go one, two, three, one, two, three. This OH is also up. This is a wedge. So it's up. So now I have to go over to three and say, okay, which of these is up? Well, equatorial is down on the third position. That means on the third position, OH is going to be put up and axial. Both CL and OH are up axial. Okay? As long as you are consistent. If you change it on different carbons, you'd still be consistent. Okay? Let's do another example. Okay? Now, look, we have this wedge here, but don't forget that corners and edges are carbon. So there's a CH2, this is CH2, CH3. This is an ethyl group. Don't forget that. But it looks like the CH2 is angled down, right? So this is going to be down. Wedge means up. And it does not matter how you number it. We numbered it one through six. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't matter. Uh, just to be consistent, I'm going to do alternating axials. Straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight down. Doesn't matter. And then now that I have straight up axial on the first carbon, I'm going to have down equatorial. Then alternating, down equatorial, up equatorial, down equatorial, up equatorial, down equatorial, up equatorial. Alternating, up and down, axial and equatorial. Good to go. On carbon one, or the way that I numbered it, I have a CH2, CH3, and it's going down. So here's my carbon one, carbon one, and I need to find which one is down. So... You could already see that my equatorial here is pushing or facing down. So I'm going to put this CH2, CH3 here. This is my ethyl group. And it's down. And it happens to be down equatorial. Okay. Then, doesn't matter how you named it or numbered it. I'll go on to what I numbered as my sixth one. This is not naming. Technically, this would be carbon 2 if I were to number it the right way, but it doesn't matter. 6, 6, it's still next to it. And so this OH group is up. So I have to find which one is up. It looks like up is equatorial, down is axial. So I'm going to put my OH up, and it ends up being equatorial. Okay. I want you to do the rest of these on your own, but I'm going to help you out and get you started for the next one. Let's just number it one, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't matter. And we'll just do it how we've been doing it. Straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Axi um, uh, sorry, equatorial down, equatorial up, equatorial down, equatorial up, equatorial down, equatorial up. Already numbered one through six, already numbered here one through six. Now it's up to you to figure out what do these wedges mean again? Where are they going to go? Are they going to go up or down? And are they going on an axial or equatorial? If you need any other help or support on this worksheet, please let me know.